Hello and welcome to the Slingshot Channel. Today is a special day. We're going to test the perforation of smoke ballista against the artificial scales. Don't be surprised by the equipment. A TV team for a North American TV channel is here to film the whole thing and these guys will be probably in the picture a few times. Don't be surprised. And now let's go find out if you can kill a dragon with a slingshot. <laughs> This is our test candidate for a dragon scale. It's half inch plywood, quality plywood, protected by a one millimeter stainless steel plate. And we will first shoot a powerful arrow from a powerful longbow at it. And only if that arrow cannot penetrate that thing, then we will declare it safe for a dragon scale. <laughs> Let's find out. This is our test bow. It was given to me by Jaybird. A friend of mine who died a few years ago and he gave me this post-mortem. Thanks a lot for it. It's a great bow. It has a draw weight of uh, 62 pounds. Um, it's a very powerful bow and we're going to test if this can penetrate our test dragon scale. Dragon is alive! <laughs> What we can clearly see is that the arrow was not able to penetrate um, the steel plate. What happened instead is that it destroyed the aluminum shaft, which soaked up all the energy of the shot. No wonder you need steel to penetrate steel. And that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> this is the arrow that I made. And I think it looks just like the arrow in the movie. The tip is made from a uh, spare knife type given to me by a manufacturer. It even has my logo on it, which is kind of neat, I think. Um, it's razor sharp and it's attached to a very, very, very long shaft. And the fletching, well, I have to admit I made it from duct tape. <laughs> it's very functional. It's two meters 40 long. And pretty heavy, it weighs about a kilo and a half. It actually makes a very good throwing knife too. But um, let's test it shot from the uh, big ballista. <laughs> and fire! Wow! <laughs> okay, it cut through the steel. Oh! It hit the wooden post and cut right through. That's why it didn't penetrate any further. That's an extra point this arrow is getting. But you can also see that the thick part of the steel tip wasn't able to really go deep into the steel plate. And I think that's a design flaw of this tip. I think that against an organic material, such like a deer or so, it would be no problem, it would go right through. But against the dragon scale, that's not the right tip. I think the design needs to be changed and I think I know how. Let's do it. So, we came up with this very, very mean point. That's a meter long, 12 millimeter solid stainless steel tip uh, with a botkin tip. Very sharp edges, very pointy and straight. It's tw like twice as heavy as the other spare, like three kilograms heavy. And um, let's see how this penetrates. I have high hopes. Okay. Let's rock. Wow, that's what I call perforation. See, not only did it crash through the plywood and the stainless steel, but it also went right through the dragon's bone. See how solid that impact is? I think it almost toppled the table over without the oak panel behind that. No wonder our ancestors preferred the bodkin tip. <laughs> I think that is credible. I think, yeah, Yerion could have damaged one of the dragon's scale. That's a plausible story. 
That's fun. <laughs> it worked. It's great. I'm very happy. Touch the window here, you can see that the duct tape is broken. It went through my poor, poor catch box. It flew straight through my catch box. And then it went uh -oh, through my oak panel here. And into the wooden lock. I guess it works. Yes, it works. Gyeongyeon could have done it. Now, this weapon and the weapon in the movie needs an aiming device. I mean, I think it's quite, of, quite clear. I can't really not reliably hit a car door with this, but I can hit a dragon, believe me. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to shoot this, believe me. Anyway, I hope you liked it because that's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye. Wow, a little bit too high, right through the window. Oh. Scheiße. <laughs> oh, <laughs>